Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I will teach you how to crochet this beautiful little angel, uh, which uh, could be used as a Christmas tree ornament or become a memorable gift for someone. The height of the angel is about 5 inches. And I am going to crochet it uh, using this cotton thread uh, size 10 and uh, my hook is almost 2 millimeters. I am going to start with the loop hanger. If you do not want one, uh, just omit this step and start with chain 6 for the head. For a loop hanger, we are going to make chain 30 or a little longer if you want to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. And uh, use a slip stitch to connect the beginning and the end of this chain like this. Uh, this is a loop hanger. Uh, now we are going to make chain six, four, five, six, and uh, we'll uh, make another slip stitch in the same two chains, like this. This is going to be the beginning of the head. In this little circle, we are going to make six single crochet stitches, and in the first three, we will also include uh, this uh, loop hanger. So we are making the first single crochet, the second, and one more. And now without this loop hanger, three more single crochets. One, two, three. In each of these six crochet stitches, we are going to make two. Uh, so we'll start with this first one and we'll make one, two single crochets in the second one, one, two, two in the next one, one, two, two in the fourth. One, two, and two more times. One, two, one, and two. Now we have 12 stitches. Um, now we are going to start using this uh, end of the thread as a marker uh, to know where we started the round. And uh, we are going to continue increasing the uh, um, number of single crochet stitches uh, working like this. This is the first single crochet that we made in the previous round. Here we are just making one single crochet. In the second one, we'll make two. One in one and in the second one, two one and two in the next one and we'll repeat it three more times one two one two one and two yeah. And now we reached our marker and we have 18 single crochet stitches. Uh, we will reposition our marker and when you do it, it's, it might be a good idea to leave a little loop at the back. It's easier to remove it and we'll continue increasing the number of stitches like this. Uh, one in one one in the second one and two in the third one one two in the next one 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 
two, one, one, uh, two, and we are doing it all way around. One, one, and two, and uh, the last one. One, one and two and uh, now we are at the end of the round where we have 24 uh, single crochets in the next four rounds we are not making any changes so we are just crocheting uh, stitch in stitch 24 stitches four rounds I have finished those four rounds and now I have eight and we can start uh, decreasing the number of stitches this way. I'm making the first crochet stitch, the second and the two together like this. First single crochet, second single two together one two two together and continue this way until you reach the marker now instead of um, uh, making single crochets we are going to switch to making double crochet stitches and we'll make a round of 12 double crochets We'll start with chain three, uh, which will count as the first double crochet. And in the same uh, place, we'll make another double crochet stitch. Now in the next stitch, we'll make two double crochets. And uh, the same in uh, the next one. Continue working like this until you have 12. At the end of the round, we'll need to make a slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning of this round. Now we'll be making groups of two double crochet stitches separated by one chain and one chain between these groups. There will be six groups. Once again, we'll start with chain three and we'll make another chain uh, to separate those stitches. And in the same place, it's pretty tight, we'll make another double crochet chain one we'll skip one stitch here and in the next one we'll make a double crochet chain one and a double crochet chain one we'll skip one stitch in the next one the same group a double crochet chain one a double crochet and uh, repeat it uh, three more times. Make a slip stitch in the third chain at the end of the round. In each of those groups, we are now going to make five double crochet stitches with a single crochet between them. We'll start with a slip stitch uh, to get between these two double crochets. Now chain three is the first double crochet. Now the second one, we have two, three, four, five, a single crochet here between these groups. Now we are moving to uh, this group of 
two double crochets and making one, two, three, four, five double crochets, a single crochet in the space between and continue like this four more times. At the end of the round, uh, a single crochet and a slip stitch in the third chain, as usual. And uh, the last round of this part is uh, the round of uh, uh, single crochet stitches. It can be done in the same color or something different. I am going to be using pink, uh, but I won't cut off the white thread. I will just join the um, uh, pink thread. We'll make this first stitch. Uh, we'll make chain one as the first single crochet. And now I will start making those single crochets, including this end of the thread in my work. Uh, and uh, it's just simple single crochets all way around stitch in stitch and continue like this at uh, the end uh, a slip stitch in this first chain And this part of the work is finished. Cut off the thread and uh, weave it through as many stitches as you can, like this. Now we can start working on this skirt and the first round of the skirt will be similar to what we did here. Groups of two double crochets separated by chain one, but there won't be chain one here between the groups. For this first round, we are going to be using these chains that we skipped before. Here they are. These are the chains. But first of all, we need to get there. And uh, to get there, we'll be using slip stitches. Make a few, doesn't matter how many, just make sure you don't make them too tight because we don't want it to interfere with the pattern. And now I am getting to this first space, this one, I'm here, okay, now chain three is the first double crochet, chain one for separation and in the same space another double crochet no chains here moving to the next space double crochet chain one double crochet moving to the next one a double crochet chain one a double crochet and repeat it three more times a slip stitch in the third chain as usual at the end this is the round that we just made the next one will be similar but instead of one uh, chain there will be two between these uh, double crochet stitches we'll start with a slip stitch to get into this space between the double crochets uh, chain three as the first double crochet chain two for separation 
and in the same space another double crochet now without any chains we are moving here and uh, I'm making a double crochet chain two and uh, a double crochet in the next group a double crochet chain two a double crochet and repeat this three more times a slip stitch at the end as always in the third chain from the beginning the next two rounds will be rounds of four double crochet stitches but they will be separated by chain one in this round and by chain two in this round we'll start with a slip stitch chain three is the first double crochet and a double crochet chain one two double crochets here two double crochets chain one two double crochets and continue this pattern repeat it four more times I have finished this round, uh, made a slip stitch, and now uh, we'll start the next one. We'll start it with two slip stitches, one in the second double crochet and one here in the chain. We are now in the middle. Uh, chain three, this is first double crochet and the second double crochet. Now chain two to separate those and uh, two double crochets now in the middle of this group we are working uh, two double crochets chain two and two double repeat it four more times in the next two rounds there will be groups of six double crochets uh, once again first separated by chain one and then by chain two as usual we'll start with slip stitches one and two chain three two double crochets chain one in this round and three double crochets moving on to this next group and uh, making three double crochets chain one and three more Three. Repeat four more times. The next round will start with three slip stitches. This is the third one. Chain three, a double crochet, and a double crochet chain two now instead of one and three double crochets one two three and repeat it five more times in the next round we'll be making nine double crochet stitches here between uh, the double crochets of the previous round and one single crochet stitch here between the groups we'll start with uh, three slip stitches again 
chain three this is the first double crochet and eight more so now we have two three four five six seven eight A single crochet here between and repeat it uh, five more times a slip stitch after the single crochet goes here in the third chain and uh, the last round like here is a round of uh, single crochets uh, can be done in a different color. I'll be using pink again and I will start here and make the first stitch and um, chain one is the first single crochet and now single crochets all way around including these ends of the thread just make a single crochet in every stitch that you have here the slip stitch at the end goes in the first chain of this round Now we can start working on the wings. Um, we'll start with chain six and we'll make the first wing on three chains and then the second one. We'll be using the same elements that we used before. Mm, uh, you can probably see here these groups of two double crochet stitches. Here groups of four, groups of six, and uh, these double crochets that we used here we'll start with chain six one two three four five six and the slip stitch in this first chain Uh, now we'll make chain three we won't count it this time as a part of uh, the pattern which will be an extra stitch in the same spot we are making a double crochet stitch chain one and one more double crochet in the next stitch same thing a double crochet chain one a double crochet and we'll repeat it one more time here in the next one in the next chain a double crochet chain one and a double crochet We'll make an extra double crochet here. Those extra stitches will be used in the last round. Now we'll make chain three, which once again, we are not going to count as a part of the pattern. Now this group of two double crochets will be used to make two double crochets chain one and two double crochets we'll do the same in the next group of two here two double crochets chain one 
two more double crochets and repeat it one more time here two chain one and two we'll make this extra double crochet in this third chain chain three once again not a part of the pattern now we are making groups of six double crochets here in the middle between the double crochets of the previous round so we are making three double crochets chain one and three more and repeat it two more times here one two three chain one and uh, three more and the last time one two three chain one one two and three once again an extra double crochet in this third chain chain three now we are going to make 10 double crochet stitches in uh, the middle of each group of six one two three four five six seven eight A single crochet here between these groups and repeat it two more times and after the last group of ten uh, make an extra double crochet in this third chain uh, this uh, wing is ready um, now to make um, uh, the wings look symmetrical we need to turn our work over and uh, start the next wing on this side we are going to be using these three um, chains that we didn't use before and we'll start with this chain three um, an extra stitch in this same chain we'll make a double crochet chain one a double crochet in the next one and whenever i can i include all this thread that we need to hide at some point so i'm making a double crochet a um, chain one and a double crochet and now the last one double crochet chain one a double crochet and an extra double crochet stitch here now i'm not going to uh, show how to make these three uh, rows if you uh, need to re-watch the video i will finish this wing and then i will show how to make the last round 
the last round uh, of the wings uh, is going to be um, like here a round of um, single crochets uh, where we are going to make um, a single crochet stitch in every stitch that we have here and here where we made those extra stitches we are going to make two single crochets in each I will start here in this corner we'll make the first stitch chain one is the first single crochet and now single crochets in every stitch at the same time including this end of the thread so we wouldn't have to do anything about it later continue like this until you reach this point here in uh, the corner we'll make an extra single crochet and two more one two and uh, two here one and uh, two and uh, two in this extra double crochet stitch that we made and uh, two here one and uh, two Now we'll make one stitch here in the middle and we'll continue making single crochets all the way around. At the end three uh, single crochets instead of two since we are here in the corner and a slip stitch in this first chain. The last thing we are going to crochet is the halo. Um, I am going to be using two colors uh, for the halo and I'll start with the white color, uh, leaving about four inches. Uh, so first we are making a chain uh, 26, more or less using a slip stitch we are making a circle and now we are done with the white color we'll cut off the thread leaving about the same end and now once again leaving the end of about the same length we'll start making a uh, single crochet stitches all the way around uh, first of all, chain one. This is going to be our first single crochet. And now in the next stitch, in the next chain, I'm making the first real single crochet, uh, including all these threads. The you know, threads are here to make the halo a little more substantial. Um, I'm only using the first uh, thread of the three, uh, which make each chain. You can use uh, two um, threads, but be consistent. So once again, I'm using just one thread here, including three uh, thread ends and making single crochet after single crochet. And continue working all the way around like this. At the end, there's always a slip stitch in this first chain. And the halo is ready. Cut off these threads, uh, cut off the pink one and uh, weave it in. 
you can do it on the front side of the yoke this time because uh, this side will be attached to the head. When um, everything is done, uh, we need to find something to help us shape the angel. I usually use a piece of clay covered with plastic wrap. Uh, you can also use Play-Doh or find something in the kitchen like this uh, plastic glass uh, or among children's toys. Then you'll need to make a strong starch solution. Mix two tablespoons of cornstarch with a little um, cold water. You add it to a cup of boiling water stirring all the time like this and remove from heat let it cool a little and then soak what you made um, but do not soak the heads uh, leave for a few minutes then take it out uh, wring it out well to remove the excess starch uh, and put it on the shape that you found uh, let it dry when uh, everything is dry, uh, use a needle and a thread uh, or a um, glue gun uh, to put the parts together. I use this uh, very simple uh, low temperature glue gun, uh, inexpensive and uh, very efficient. Thanks for watching. On my uh, channel, uh, there are lots of other videos uh, that show how to make little angels like these or bigger ones that can be used as tree toppers. If you want to be informed of all the new projects, please subscribe and push the bell button. See you next time. Bye-bye.